think she love me Cause I got the check on me Won't spend it then flex on me Put a curse of hex on me Scratch out my name, put the X on me You should come check on me Talk dirty and caress on me Fuck it, might as well get undressed for me Love, how you get that to wet for me Put a lot of stress on me What's up, Jake? It's Welcome back to our channel guys. Today is going to be a tutorial again but if you're new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up because today I'm going to teach you guys how to make this lovely wig. Yeah it's a wig guys and I made this so if I'm able to do it I guess everybody else can do it. So let's just get right into the video. I got this hair from Hair Spells and all the details about the hair will be in the description below. I got the hair in this lovely pink bag and it was very cute. I also got the 14 inches lace closure 4x4 and I got three pieces of their 22 Brazilian straight hair, 22 inches Brazilian straight hair. What you will need is thread, needles, some sewing needles, T-pins, you would need your clips, and your mesh wake up, pair of scissors, definitely your mannequin head, and your comb. This wake up is, is a mesh one and it's very good because that means your hair will be able to breathe. And as you can see, I'm aligning the wake up on the mannequin head. And this is the 14 inches closure that we are going to be using today. First, I, I secure the closure on the wake up. I make sure that it is flat as possible. And I secure it with my T-pins to make it easier for me to sew. I put the hair away with some clips and I begin to sew my closure on my wake up. How this works is, I don't know how to say it, but you have to lock your thread. I put it through, then I put the thread over the needle just once if I'm beginning the sewing I do it three times but once I start I just go over it once like I'm showing you then it, it causes some some kind of knot so that it doesn't release easily so I just do this all around the lace closure When I'm done, I, I seal the end with by going three times around the needle instead of once. And I do that twice as well, just to secure it. So when we are done with that, we're just gonna start with the back of the wake up.
the way I saw it is in a U sh shape I take the form of the lace closure till I get to the top that's how I did it I kept going from ear to ear and then from the end of the wig cup to the other end so it created a U following the lace closure till I got to the very top of the hair as you can see When I was done, I cut out the wake cup right underneath the lace closure. I applied some mousse to my lace closure. I did my parting, I plugged it a bit just to make the line show. I put on some powder on the lace. I did that because I, had, I haven't bleached the lace. So when you put powder instead, it blends out and looks like your scalp. So you can choose between bleaching it or just using some powder and it still looks good. She can see, I think it's mini, mini nice and looking all natural. So yes, that's about it guys. It's very, very easy to make this wig and I hope that I helped you out in a way. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you think I did well. And if you think it was easy to follow, comment below what you think my next video should be or what I should do next. I know you guys ask for a, vid um, a makeup tutorial. It's going to be coming very, very soon. So just hold on for me. Nobody should say makeup tutorial in the comments. I know, I'm going to do that one. But anything on hair, just let me know down below. So don't also forget to follow me at two underscores Jasmine, two underscore follow Bay at I am Kiki Montana on Instagram and Twitter. Yes, and I'll see you guys on some other video. Bye.